everybody to the Insider Perks YouTube channel. My name is Brian Cyril, the founder and CEO of Insider Perks. Today we're going to continue our video series talking about random topics that ChatGPT right over here on my other monitor thought would be useful to you while we were making videos about marketing, advertising, technology, AI, things like that related to campgrounds and RV parks. So today we're going to talk about utilizing social media platforms for your campground or RV park. So when you are talking about utilizing social media platforms, I really, really hope that if you have been a campground owner for a number of years, or you are considering purchasing a campground, that you don't need a lot of coaching in this area because social media has been around for quite some time. And the benefit, honestly, for organic or free social media has kind of declined quite a bit. And there are other things that you should pay attention to before you utilize social media platforms. Again, Definitely do it, but there are other things on the list that are before social media, so make sure you check out some of the videos on this channel for tips on that. But let's talk about utilizing social media platforms. The first thing you need to understand, and we're probably just going to look at a map for this video, so hopefully that's okay with you guys. Some of those will be that way and some of them won't, but uh, you know, f when you talk about utilizing social media platforms, you first need to identify your target audience, right? So actually, yeah, we'll, we'll dive into this, right? So let's, uh, let's take Chicago here and we're going to go one, two, three. Plano, Texas. So just give us a good idea, right? I feel like some of these cities keep coming up again and again, or maybe I just do too many videos. But anyway, uh, so Plano, Texas here. Uh, first thing you need to do is identify your target audience. We have a video that shows you how to do that. But for the purposes of this, let's just pretend that they're coming because they're typing in Plano campgrounds, Plano RV parks, Plano cabin rentals, Plano glamping, something into search, right? And so when you're utilizing social media platforms, you not only need to understand those keywords, you need to understand the demographic of people who are coming to Plano to go camping. Are they coming from Dallas? Are they old? Are they young? Are they women? Are they men? Are they people with families? Are they singles? Are they adventure travelers, et cetera, et cetera, right? And so once you understand that, then you need to go create content for those people on social media. But before you can create content for them on social media, you need to understand that the demographic, where the demographic, that you've just figured out who they are, again, older, younger, male, female, black, white, Asian, whatever, right? Where, where do they spend their time on social media? And once you've identified that, then you go create content there. Do not try to create content everywhere. It's a losing battle. You need to go where your people are. So for the majority of the RV park campground buyer audience right now in 2024, the two platforms you should probably be concerned with are Facebook and Instagram. Now there are certainly more of them out there, okay? But given your limited time, if you don't have a full-fledged marketing team, then you need to focus on the two that usually make the biggest difference. Now that may be different, right? If you're a Yogi Bear Park, then you may want to focus on things like Snapchat or TikTok if you have someone who can be entertaining enough on that platform. If your demographic is more focused toward the Pinterest style audience, then you want to focus there. But for the most part, Facebook and Instagram. So once you've figured out what that audience is, and realize that they're probably on Facebook and Instagram, then you want to go to Facebook and Instagram and you want to start creating content geared specifically towards them. Now, that content could be anything from basic information about your campground or the local area, focused again on, I want to provide value to the people who are going to find me. People that are not interested anymore and really never were in the beginning, although we kind of tricked ourselves into thinking that was the case, they're not interested in buy my campground site, stay at my RV site, buy, 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 click to my website. You don't want to see that. Nobody else wants to see that either. But if you provide value, if you talk to people about the local area, if you're excited about new additions or renovations to your campground, if you're highlighting your employees, if you're being authentic on social media, you will naturally get more engagement. People will be interested in what you have to say. And when they are ready to go camping, they're going to remember that they enjoy the content from your campground. And if they happen to be going to Plano, Texas, or they live in Dallas, then they are likely going to at least put you in the mix for the places that they want to go camping next. So utilizing social media platforms, it's really quite simple. You have to understand your target audience and create content for them. You have to be authentic. Do not sell, period. End of story. 
there are tons of different ways you can go on, you know, beyond that, right? Like you can break down your target audience into subcategories. You can say, all right, well, I've got, I tend to have a female audience that is older than 45 who stays at my campground, just pulling something randomly out of thin air. Well, of those females who are over 45, what type of people are they? Are they adventure travelers? Are they solo travelers? Are they executive women? Are they whatever, right? Uh, and then you can literally create content for the adventurer and rotate that between the solo traveler and rotate that in between the executive woman and the professional woman, all those kinds of things, right? And then you have some kind of content there for whichever one of those people decides to visit your Facebook or Instagram account will see some content that resonates with them. And then you can choose, do I want to have fancy graphics? Do I want to have more just pictures of the property? These are all things that you have to test. Does this work better? Does that work better? I'm on the side of authenticity versus templates and design, but there's all kinds of research and science that goes into this stuff, right? To, is it better to produce more videos versus photos? The answer is, is stop analyzing the Facebook and Instagram algorithm because those are going to change all the time. And the real answer is, is identify what really resonates with your audience, what they like to see, what they will like and share, and ultimately will cause them to have such a high opinion of your campground that the next time they want to go camping, they are going to go to your social media or your website, click that book now button and put some revenue into your pocket. So hopefully that helped you about utilizing social media platforms and we'll talk next time on the next video. Take care guys.